Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you. Ah, the season coming. Goat Talk, the podcast coming. You know what I'm saying? Jalen Hurts running around here. You see, you see him. You see my boy. You see my boy Hurts running around here getting them endorsements. I seen Oakley. You know what I'm saying? What else did I see? I seen FedEx, Aaron Ground. He running around to talk about something. He going to deliver through the air and through the ground. But we all know that. We all know that. We all know that. But what do y'all know? Huh? It's going down, man. Good morning to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Tuned in on the clock. What up, LB? What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm too hyped for this burial this Thursday. Oh, I'm a live stream it. I am live streaming it. I'm live streaming the Dallas Cowboys against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I want to see it, man. I want to go to the service. I want to go to the service. It would be rude if we didn't go to the service. I think they season in before it starts. It'll be very rude for us if we did not attend the service. It'll be rude for us. We can go to the service, but we can skip the burial. We can skip the burial. We'll just go to the service as a group. Are y'all going? What are we wearing? Let's wear green. Because Thursday is a wrap. Thursday is a wrap. It's a rapsy scapsy. Uh-huh. You know the vibes, man. The season is coming. The season is coming. Go talk the podcast coming. Make sure you tap in with that. You know what I'm saying? And Jalen Hurts was just named the captain. 114 people already LBU to go. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all know, man. Y'all rock off for lunchtime with the bullies. Did y'all see the new graphics? I threw it up here for the thumbnail. I threw it up here for the thumbnail. When's the repass? Repasses are usually after the barrel. So, so this is the schedule for the Dallas Cowboys right now. The schedule is we're going to send them home. It's a, a home going service on Thursday around 8 o'clock. The burial will be around week four. Week four, it's going to be done. The burial will be done. The repass will be towards the end of the season. We're going to have food. We're going to have wings. We're going to have a lot of stuff. We're going to have a lot of stuff. But the service is Thursday. This is the beginning of the end. It's the beginning of the end for the Dallas Cowboys. The service is Thursday, and I'm going to be there. I'm going to live stream it. Of course I am. The first game of the season, that banner dropped for Tampa Bay. Dak Prescott telling y'all he 100%. Amari Cooper saying he is. He is. He feels like he is the best wide receiver in the league. He does. Amari Cooper said, I am the best wide receiver in the league. I just got to show it. So if you didn't show it, how do you sit here and call yourself the best? Come on, man. Come on, man. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. But, you know, Jalen Hurts being named the captain is huge. But at the same time, it's not that crazy. Because they throw captain at... Well, you know a captain when you see one. Jalen Jalen Hurts is a captain. Aaron Rodgers is a captain. You know a captain when you see one. Even Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott is a leader. He rallies the troops really well. He's a captain as well. But then when you give it to dudes like Daniel Jones, who also became a captain, you kind of water it down. You water it down. You water it down. Is this Daniel Jones? Hey, somebody became a member. Shout out to you. Hurts a captain. Good Lord. Cody Gents. Daniel Jones is a captain. Daniel Jones is a captain. You done watered it down. You watered it down. If the Eagles didn't believe in Jalen Hurts, why they naming him team captain? Somebody became a channel member. Shout out my boy. Shout out my guy, Jameer Sterling, man. Welcome to Bully Land. You know the vibes. And listen, man, and that is that 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 is the way. That is the way to get your free tickets. I'm giving out five tickets to five different games. You know what I'm saying? My man hit me up for opening day. I got three tickets for opening day. I think me and my sister going to go. Me and my sister going to go to that one, hopefully. I got a lot of stuff going on the day before that, uh, that, that Saturday. But I should be able to make it. Funny how they talk trash about Hurts on ESPN, but when he was featured on the show, they didn't want to talk about it. That's what I'm saying. That's what they do. I told y'all it was for clickbait purposes. Now when you get Jalen Hurts in front of your face, oh, I see the work you've been putting in. I see everything. It hurts making his media rounds today. It hurts, hurts making his media rounds. The season coming. 
The season coming. Everybody tried their hardest. Hey, my God, Dre Don, thank you for the donation. How you feeling about Devontae Smith week one? Um, Oh, Wrench. Oh, yeah, take that. I think you've been asking. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel good about Devontae Smith week one. I feel good about Devontae Smith week one. The, the, the Falcons haven't had defense in 20 years. Do I think it's going to start week one? No, I don't. I need six tickets for Eagles versus Bucks. You need six tickets for Eagles versus Bucks. You might need to go to Ticketmaster, Tone. I ain't I ain't Ticketmaster now. Six is a lot. Jones is a captain because this is his third year as a quarterback, and the team loves and believes him. Stop lying, Cody. Stop lying, Cody. Stop lying. Y'all got to say that. Did Jones go out there and earn it? Did Daniel Jones go out there and earn it? Did he go out there and earn it? Daniel Jones ain't earn it. Daniel Jones, take that Oh, Daniel Jones ain't on it. Who will lead the Eagles in receiving yards this season? I have Quez. I got Devontae. I got Devontae. I feel real good about this season, LB, as you should. Anybody got tickets for Eagles versus Raiders in, L uh, in Vegas? Um, I might know some. Ah, oh, he sold them. My, he sold them. My guy, my guy, my guy sold them. My guy sold them uh, for the Vegas uh, game because he said the COVID restrictions was bananas. There was a lot of COVID stuff he was talking about. He ain't, he ain't like so. He, he got got rid of them. Jones is buns. LB. Yeah, Jones is buns. Daniel Jones stinks, and everybody blurred vision can see it. They don't want to add it. They don't, don't want to do it. How did he not earn it? Please explain, LB. Uh, because he didn't throw 30 touchdowns, so you got to be Mahomes to be a captain. That's not what I said, Cody. You're miss. You're, you're, you're First of all, Daniel Jones is zero star recruit. Daniel Jones didn't even earn the right to be drafted where he was where he was drafted at, in my opinion. Daniel Jones is zero star recruit. Has he even played in a playoff game? Has he even played in a playoff game? What did Daniel Jones earn? Daniel Jones is no better than, or no different than Mitchell Trubisky. No different or no better, man. Jameer Sterling, thank you for the donation. Can you shot? Can you shoot me a wrench, LB? Man, take that, AB. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, man. Uh, Marcus Kane, what's going on, man? Long time no see, brother. Like and subscribe. The season coming. The regulars, the regulars. The regulars. The regulars. Lunchtime with the bully regulars on the building. Easy gang, what's up? 10 and 7, I like it. I like it. I like it. When is Goat Talk? Goat Talk is this week. Goat Talk is either uh, Friday or Saturday. It's always going to be the weekend, one of the weekends, the day before the uh, uh, before the game. Me and Philly Mike, but y'all know what's coming today, though, right? Today Tuesday, and we play, and we play uh, Sunday. You, you, you tell me what's coming today. Keys to victory, the keys to victory will be dropping today. The first one of this season. It's about to be a movie. It's about to be a movie. Not worried about the Falcons. Their defense is Swiss cheese. E everything about them is Swiss cheese. Everything. Missed my super chat. Which one? I ain't missed nothing. I, I, I got it down pat. Now I never miss another one. Shout out to Jonathan Rodriguez. Everybody disrespecting Miles Sanders, LB. I think he in for a crazy year. What you think? I think Miles Sanders got to watch his body. I'm not disrespecting Miles Sanders, but if Miles Sanders don't play all 16 games and Kenneth Gainwell is flashing in his presence, y'all know where we live at. Y'all know what's going to happen. Man, he said he would have started at Ohio State. Who would have started at Ohio State? Who? My guy D'Lo in the building. I think Rager will have a good season. Smith and Quez will make it easy for him to get open. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Yizzo, what up, LB? I'm going to be in the stands Sunday. You coming down? You going to be in the stands? What, in, in Philly? In, in the A? I'm not going to be in the A. I'm not going to be in the A. How we underdogs? What, uh, what do the Falcons got that we can't deal with? We underdogs because the narrative has been painted. The narrative has been painted. All offseason, they've been saying we're going to win four games again. The narrative has been painted. We underdogs, I guess, because it's on the road. New coaching staff. Uh, we underdogs. I like Gainwell over Miles low key. You, you can't say that right now. I got to see Gangwell put it put it in effect. Eagles got a bad secondary. That's a lie. That's a lie, Matthew. Matthew, that's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. We had a bad secondary. Now we got Slay and Steve Nelson and Rodney McLeod coming back. We had a bad secondary, but we're going to see. And my guy, Herb Artist, man, thank you for the donation. Eagles been underdogs since 2017. The story of our lives, man. It's the world we live in. It's our lives. LB, what's our record? I'm thinking 10 plus. I can see 9 plus. 9 plus to be safe. Ann Harris. Of, of course, Ann Harris. 
Anthony Harris, my bad. Media says Dak laser focus America's team. They don't know Eagles not missing any payments. The me listen, li listen, y'all got to understand how these narratives really, really help the media and, and, and how everything the media got going on, you know, how, how it how it just how, how how they're always one step ahead. You know what I mean? They always one step ahead and feeding off the emotions, especially off of NFC East teams. Especially when you think of NFC Lease, who are you programmed to think of? You programmed to think of the Philadelphia Eagles when you think of NFC Lease. You got to be programmed to think of it. When I think of NFC Lease, being as though I'm going to get to y'all super chats in a minute. When I think of NFC Lease, being as though I've been around the NFC for a very long time, seeing what the NFC got to offer. When I think of the NFC Lease, I think of the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington football team. Period. 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 20 years ago, nobody was calling us the NFC lease. This happened within the last 20 years. In the last 20 years, we've been to two Super Bowls. Seven NFC championship games. Sent like 30 dudes to the Pro Bowl. Multiple all-purpose players. In the last 20 years, we got the most playoff wins in the National Football Conference. In the entire conference. Then when you break it down by division, look at them other guys. Dallas got two playoff, three playoff wins in 20 years. The Redskins got one playoff win, I think, in 20 plus years. The Dallas Cowboys ain't been to an NFC Championship game in a quarter century, a life sentence. 25 to life, that's how long. The Redskins damn near 30 years. The Giants and the Eagles, we saw Brady in the Super Bowl. We saw it. Damn man, the damn man, seeing Tom Brady in the Super Bowl was like a sweepstakes. It's the sweepstakes. If you ain't if you ain't getting to the if you ain't get to the Belichick and the Brady sweepstakes, that whole twenty plus years they was doing their thing, then you wasn't doing it right. You wasn't doing it right. LB, this uh this Angel Pharaoh on IG. Hey my God, shout out my guy Pharaoh man. My guy, Pharaoh, man, he's going to be doing some graphic design work for me, man. He did this thumbnail for Lunchtime with the Bullies. He did the joint for me and Philly Mike. We're going to make sure, man. Listen, if you need some graphics, get with my guy. I just threw you the wrench, too. And these are just facts. This ain't no hate. This ain't no hate. These are facts. This is the laws of the land. Let me turn the air up, man, before it start getting disrespectful in here. This is the laws of the land. The Dallas Cowboys... And the Washington football, um, and the Washington football team are the reason we are the NFC lease. Has nothing to do with the Giants and the Eagles. Has nothing to do with it. The Giants and the Eagles, in fact, in the last 20 years, in my opinion, got two of the best, two of the top five Super Bowl runs. Two of the top five Super Bowl runs. When Eli knocked off Tom Brady and them, after Tom Brady and them was like 18 and 0. They would have had a perfect, a perfect season and a perfect play. They'd have been 19 and 0 and won the Super Bowl. The biggest underdogs on the planet. They went there and did that. And it was wild cards. Philadelphia Eagles beat Tom Brady with a backup. Being an underdog every playoff game. While beating the number one defense in the Minnesota Vikings. The only time Tom Brady has lost in the Super Bowl was to the Eagles and to the Giants. Y'all not going to put NFC lease on us. If it wasn't for the Giants and the Eagles, and I don't like the Giants. This is, I'm going to always keep it real though. If it wasn't for the Giants and the Eagles, Tom Brady would be walking around here like Thanos. Without a blemish on his record. Without a blemish on his record. And that's just facts. Who I think is the starting linebackers. I would assume Alex Singleton. And Eric Wilson for sure, because Alex Singleton actually is one of the captains. So I would assume it's Alex uh, Singleton, Eric Wilson. And I would have thought it would have been Davion Teller, but we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm trying to figure out who created the name Lease. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It was the Cowgirls. Of course it was. Of course it was. NFC Lease is a way for the Cowboys and the Washington football team to poke fun at us for having the least amount of rings. But what about in the last 20 years, the least amount of effort? Come on, bro. What about in the last 20 years, the least amount of effort, man? The least TJ Edwards, you're right. The least amount of effort is, is by far come from the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington football team. 
What do I think about Slay not being captain? I mean, I didn't even think of that. I ain't think of that. Slay not being captain, I mean, some guys got some guys got great leadership qualities and some guys great players. You know what I'm saying? I think I think Rodney McLeod got it just for the work he put in, though. Hey, my God, where you hiding? Shout out to you. Where you hiding, Brunson? I will be at the Benz. Will you be there? And here's to hoping. I'm not, I'm not going to be there, man. Here's to hoping you toast Slitter in a debate. Just a dream. You ain't got to do it. Slitter don't want that work, man. Slitter don't want that work, man. Slitter don't want that work, man. Slitter don't want that work. Slitter got to put out a good body of work to get some work from me. You got to put out a good body of work to get some work from me. You make you making any bets week one? Make sure everyone hitting that like button. Um, you know I do. Oh, go to BetQL, man. Y'all y'all ain't know about the new partnership we got going on. BetQL, man. BetQL show you who you should bet on and why you should bet on them. Click the link in the description in my last two videos. They got the BetQL stuff in there. I'm, it's gonna be more coming out. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna talk about BetQL during the course of the week, every week for the season. But yeah, yeah, we doing smart bets. My God and man above, man. Welcome to Bully Land. We doing smart bets, man, and we on the road to 20k. Damn, LB, you got me feeling like I need to take JJ spot. I do it. Yo, LB, what do you think about the pecking order in the uh, in the East, top to bottom? We know the Eagles at the top. Oh, I mean, re realistically, the pecking order in the, in the East. Oh, the East. I thought you meant the whole conference. Yeah, in the East, I feel good. I feel good about our chances in winning this division. I feel good about our chances in winning this division. I'm not afraid of none of that. How many touchdowns for Smitty week one? I just want one. I'm not going to say four or five, six. I just give me one. It's a vote amongst teammates for captain. That's probably how the team feels based on positions. Yeah, it's how the team feel based on positions. McLeod been there longer than Slay. McLeod was there for the Super Bowl. McLeod was um, really good his year coming off of that injury when he messed up his knee. McLeod been in the trenches for us for a long time. This Sunday going to be glorious. Hey, my God, Philly Philly the podcast, my guy. Glorious. I'm telling you. Thursday, though. Thursday, I need you there, Philly Philly. Thursday, I, I regret to inform you that we got a service to attend. We're going to be sending the Dallas Cowboys home week one this year. Week one, we're going to be sending them home. Um, the service is Thursday. Around week four will be the burial. And... um. The repass will be around week 10. Around week 10, we're going to know it's over for them. It's going to be over week 10. But just make sure you make the service Thursday. It's going to be live on my channel. We're going to be streaming the game. A very sad situation. If you can make an appearance, I would like to have you up here to say a few things this Thursday. Please wear a black shirt. That suit jacket you had in your photo shoot, love it. You could wear that. Uh, something green, green pocket square, please. Your attendance will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. It's an all black affair. We already know. Very sad situation. Very sad situation because they like the little engine that could. They swear every year is the year, but they are going to start off getting a headshot on Thursday. It's going to be bad. It's going to be spaghetti everywhere. Spaghetti everywhere. It's going to be bad. Spaghetti will drop this Thursday. Bake ZD on the floor. For the Dallas Cowboys. I remember the media were saying that those two uh those two years quarterbacks were going to make a huge jump, but were sleeping on Hurts. Of course, they always sleep on Hurts. They always sleep on Hurts. Spaghetti, Betty Spaghetti, Spaghetti everywhere. All black and the green. Yeah, all black, all black and the get that wear the black and green Hurts season fitted and some black attire. You can wear the black dicky. I know how Philly get down. We, 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 we can put our dicky on. We can put our dicky on. Football team, football team done because they won last year. No, no one can repeat this division. It's hard to come, it's hard to repeat this division. But with the schedule Washington got, that's a first place schedule. They not built for that. And they got Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick, when was the last time Fitzpatrick took over a team that had an upcoming first place schedule? When was the last time? Fitzpatrick is is okay in spurts, but Fitzpatrick is not going to be able to duel with Tom Brady. He's not gonna be able to duel with him. Washington had a better team last year and won seven games. Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. And I, I live in Redskins area. They're not even proud of, the, of winning the division. There's no. I seen one car 
one car this week with the Washington flags on it. They're notorious for that. They're not proud. There's no sense of pride in the air. They ready to get back to their old ways so they can start watching everybody else. They don't even watch their games. They don't watch their games. But Jalen Hurts being the captain is huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Because the team got a vote on it. And who was on our team? A team full of Super Bowl champions on the offensive and defensive line. Period. Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz. We got a team full of people who've done some things who are making these votes. Think about that. Think about who's voting for Daniel Jones. Think about it. Kenny Galladay? Who's, who's voting for Daniel Jones? The dude they drafted with the fourth pick? The dude who looked like Eric Flowers out there getting ran past? Who voted for Daniel Jones to be team captain? A bunch of dudes. Listen, that's them some Florida ballots. Whoever voted for Daniel Jones to be a team captain, we need a recount. We need a recount. The dudes who voted for Jalen Hurts are certified. Super Bowl champions. Top 100 list players. The dudes who voted for Jalen Hurts, they got credentials. There's nobody on the New York Giants roster with credentials. With credentials. Instead, what they do is try to pile the weight of the world on the shoulders and the bad knee of Saquon Barkley. Come on, Giants with them Florida ballots. We need a recount. You can't just be throwing that around like that. And you know Washington made Fitz the, uh, Fitz the captain. Daniel Jones is a turnover machine. He looked like a stiff mannequin in the pocket. J Daniel Jones is scary in the pocket. LB, uh, LB, get off, get off my state. Listen, no disrespect to your state. Oh, oh, your state is Florida. Hey man, hey man, it's something with y'all every election. LB is the most delusional Eagles fan. I mean, you hear and I read it. Kudos to you, good brother. But I tell you what about me? If you look down my list of predictions, I'm about 80%. I'm about 80%. Look it up. I'm in VA and, and, and we don't rep the football team. I know y'all don't. LB, you got a score prediction for the Thursday night massacre? See, Dallas going to score about 21. They're going to score about 21. But Tom Brady and them going to score. My bad, man. My bad. My bad. Somebody, somebody, somebody did. Somebody, yeah. Dallas going to score about 21. But Tom Brady and them going to score about 38. Tom Brady and them going to score about 38. 38. And they 21, they going to get off the muscle at the end when Tom Brady probably relaxing. You know what I mean? LB, don't nobody want to play for that coach. They call uh, they call the cops on the players. I heard about that. I don't know. Somebody is saying it was, it, it was made up or whatever, but it is what it is. Dallas is going to lose. Dallas is going to lose. We're going to live stream it. If Dallas come to play, we're going to give it up. But I'm expecting a bloody, bloody battering. I'm expecting a battering. I'm expecting a battering. Plus, Michael Parsons was talking all that talk. Brady about to light him up. Well, that's what I'm saying. This is what Dallas do. Dallas don't have no certified vets. Dallas don't. So, so the rumor is Joe Judge called the cops on the players because the players were scrapping and squaring up or whatever. Dallas don't have no certified vets to go to Michael Parsons and say, at ease, sit down. Focus on the playbook and your preparations and where you need to be. Now was not the time for you to be talking, angering a man that went to the Super Bowl 10 times. Because because I don't know if Michael Parsons realized this, but I can guarantee you this. He will not be able to smell the detergent that Tom Brady uniform was washed. And he will not get that close to Tom Brady. He will not get that close to Tom Brady. And if they ask him to go out there and cover which they probably not. They're going to use him as a crash dummy around the line of scrimmage so he can try to cause disruption. And that's just going to leave an open gap for Brady. Brady is one of the smartest. Brady is, Brady, Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback to ever play this game. That's my opinion on that. I mean, he's been to 10 Super Bowls, lost three. He's going to wipe the floor. Whatever Michael Parsons do will be a mistake on the Dallas Cowboys' behalf. You could bet your bottom dollar on that. My guy Curtis, what up, LB? Sorry, I'm late. What players you got making a big impact for our defense on su on Sunday? Uh, Fletcher Cox and that defensive line. Fletcher Cox and that defensive line. No credentials, Logan Ryan. Who? Who? You talking about the dude for the Giants? What credentials do Logan Ryan got? 
Is Logan Ryan is Logan Ryan qualified to vote Daniel Jones in as a captain? Tell us his credentials. You here? Super Bowl champion Logan Ryan in what uniform? In what uniform? In what uniform did Logan Ryan win the Super Bowl in? In what uniform? Oh, he won it with the Patriots. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You talking about that Logan Ryan? He don't got no credentials. He don't have no credentials to name Daniel Jones the captain. He don't. What has he done for your organization? When I'm talking about guys with credentials, I'm talking about Fletcher Cox. I'm talking about Jason Kelsey. I'm talking about Zach Ertz. You know what I mean? Those are different type of credentials to still be around after the Super Bowl. They're still in the city. Logan Ryan got credentials in, 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 uh, in New England. Logan Ryan got credentials in New England. But as far as Joe Judge and that go, I, I don't see the credentials there. But that's one. I'll give you that. Brandon Graham, game-winning strip sack. Derek Barnett, the one who scooped it up. He's a recruiter for us, a leader. Who did he recruit? He recruited Adore Jackson. Adore Jackson didn't have an interception in three years. And, 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 and you trust his recruiting ability. Go, go, Google the last time Adore Jackson had an interception. Adore, Adore. Go Google it. Google it. Who's recruiting dudes who ain't have a pick in three years and they quarterback and they cornerbacks? Nah, that ain't credentials, man. You confused. LB, who you got being our sack leader this year? Brandon Graham. LB, you tried to recruit him yourself, begging that man to come to Philly. I didn't beg that man to come to Philly. If you don't understand what a parody is and what a, what a slight sense of humor is, then I can't help you. Steven Nelson better than Adore Jackson. Steven Nelson better than him. So I'm glad he didn't listen to my, my recruitment. Steven Nelson better than him. He better than him. Last time he had, last time he had an interception, my daughter was two. She turned five yesterday. Steven Nelson better than him. You didn't even want Steven Nelson. I didn't, but he better than Adore Jackson, who hasn't had an interception in three years. It's not, it's, listen, listen, it's not rocket science for me how it might be for some of y'all. Put him on the scale. Adore Jackson on this side, Steven Nelson on that side. Let's talk about what they've done. One guy had an interception in three years. The other guy had a few last year. On a struggling Carson Wentz. Hmm, who do you take? The man who just put in the work. Not the man who ain't dead. Come on. Come on. Who do you take? It's not rocket science. LB, can you see Smith getting 600 yards this season? I can see that. That's easy. That's easy. That's easy. Cowboy Killer 88 talking about he's sleep. No, you not. You right in here. You right in here doing what you're supposed to be doing. You right in here. You right in here. You ain't sleep. You wide awake, bro. We see you in here. We see you in here. This ain't a safe zone for the, for the rest of the division this offseason. We see you right in here. Stop it. 2018, two interceptions. Come on, man. We three years past that. We three years past that. LB, these Cowboys fans run their mouth about what they're going to do, what they're going to do to us. When that day comes, they get sweaty palms and start dry heaving. The Cowboys are, the Cowboys are, are small. They small time, man. They small time, man. Jason Wallace, what up? Stats, Nelson is better. You can easily look it up. Uh, you know, we don't even have to talk about it. I would take Jackson over Slay. With Jackson. That, that, see that? This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real, man. I'm going to keep it real, Cody. Cody, Cody talking about he will take Jackson over Darius Slay. Darius Slay, up until when he first got here playing in his bad system, was a three-time in a row Pro Bowl at the cornerback position. I mean, come on, man. You ain't got the lie to kick it. You ain't got to lie like that. You ain't got to lie like that, man. You ain't got to lie like that, man. That's what I'm saying. I gave you y'all flowers. I said that me and y'all have been holding it down. We're not responsible for the NFC lease. Now you got to come in here with the Dr. Seuss cap. You got to come in here capping, though, now. Go ahead. Go go, go somewhere now. You ain't winning division in 10 years. Go somewhere now, man. Go somewhere now, man. Excuses, excuses. Cody, don't make me press the button. Cody, I can have him press the button, 
and we will no longer see you communicating with us for that cat. I can have him press the button. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, let's talk about it, man. Let, let's 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 talk about you know what really got to happen against the Falcons. Just a little snippet before we get into the you know the keys to victory this afternoon. I really really feel like that the Atlanta Falcons are going to make the mistake and hold on to the ball too long. Then there are ways the Falcons could beat us. There's ways the Falcons could beat us. If the Falcons make our corner, if the Falcons make our linebackers cover, I have no idea how you're going to combat that. I have no idea how you're going to combat that. I almost feel like we need to have an additional cornerback learn how to play linebacker so somebody could cover in that sector of the defense. I'm worried about the coverage of the linebackers for sure, but I think they're going to figure it out. I think they're going to figure it out. I'm just worried because I got to worry about it because we ain't been good right there. Why everybody worried about pits? I'm not worried about pits. 466 people in here and only 140 likes. Come on now, Eagles fan. Hey, man, stop what you're doing and like it. Y'all heard what he said. Stop what you're doing and like it. Giants, Giants, can talk, Giants can't talk either. They beat us like four times in the past decade. That's true. The Giants haven't won a division in a decade. In 10 years. They ain't won a division in 10 years, but you know, I guess those type of things come to an end for everybody. You know, you know what I'm saying? And speaking of that, though, they didn't win a division in 10 years and everybody calls us the NFC lease. How can you not win a division in 10 years in a division that has a nickname, the lease? It makes no sense to me. LB, when is the collab with Philly Mike? End of the week, Friday or Saturday. First episode of Goat Talk, the podcast. I'm in school watching you, LB. No, stop that and, and focus on the lesson. You can watch this on the replay. Focus on the lesson, man. It might be something important you're missing today, man. Might be something important you're missing today, man. I need you smart. I need you smart. I might need you for something. LB, the real matchup is the O lines, the D lines, uh, in which the Eagles have the advantage. I agree with that. We strong in the we strong in the trenches. We definitely strong in the trenches. Mike Davis is a Mike Davis is the Falcons running back. He is. I like Mike Davis. Mike Davis is a little old though. Oh, you on break? Oh, okay, okay, you on break? I, I could dig it. I could dig it. I could dig it, man. I could dig it. Make sure you hit them books, man. School is important. I'm in college, but ain't got class right now. That's in a couple hours. Oh, where, where, where? What college you go to? Cody and time out for talking childish. Yeah, Cody didn't eat all his vegetables. Cody can't come out and play right now. LB, I'm at work watching you. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. LB, you think Hurts could break Wentz 33 touchdowns someday? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Realistically, I see us losing four games max this year. I'm not worried about these Falcons. I'm not worried about them either. I'm not worried about the Falcons either, but but our coaches can't feel like us. If I was the head coach or if I was on the coaching staff, I would be worried. I would be worried every week because you could lose your job behind a bad string of games in this league. I would definitely be worried. I would be worried. To, to repeat what Philly Mike said, Eagles still potentially have a top five O-line and D-line. That alone can get you eight wins, but the division wants us to settle for five wins, huh? They want us to settle for five wins. They want us to feel as bad as they think we're going to be. I don't feel that way. 11-6, I can feel it. I hope so. LB, I'm a big fan. You're the best on the Eagles, and that's facts. I appreciate you, Andy. Pitts and Chase going to be monsters. I don't... I, I, I mean... you, you See, see what you want what you want to do is get me out of my character. Because you know how I feel about Chase. I can't. Now, now the jury is out on Pitts. The jury is out on Pitts. You know what I'm saying? The jury is out on Pitts. But Chase Young, I think Chase Young is going to be no better than Ryan Kerrigan. I'm sorry. LB, do you think about picking up Desmond Trufant? Nah. 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 New York had dibs on Duck. Now it's our turn to run a train on Dallas. Pause. Our run game going to be superior this year. I think so. It better be. LB, I bought a Wentz jersey last year. My first ever bought jersey was that mistake. Hey, man, what you, uh, oh, I thought you was a youngin' in college. I would have bought you a new jersey. More jerseys to come, man. If you were the head coach, what would your game plan be for this game? You got to watch for the keys to victory. The keys to victory. We're going to talk about the game plan for this game. Are you going live for the Eagles and Falcons game? I'm going to try. 
I'm going to try to go live for the Eagles and Falcons game, but I feel like I really want to watch it and I really want to eat and drink and really digest the game so I can put together an accurate, a accurate post-game situation. You know what I mean? But I think I'll go live. You out in ATL this week? No, I'm not going to be in the A this week. I'm not going to be in the A this week. LB, should I start Quez over Cooper for Fantasy Week? Uh, Cooper Cup or Amari Cooper? LB, you see Devontae Smith and Hurts commercials? Love them. Love them. The screen game is a new weapon. I agree. LB, what you watch your games on? Cody Solutions. LB, what about the old heads at work? We like jerseys. Facts, facts. The old heads do like jerseys. We could do a jersey giveaway too. You got to become a channel member because once you become a channel member, you're going to be able to see the channel member posts about the giveaways and who wins these things. You're going to be able to see the channel member posts. I bought a Wentz jersey like two years ago, but you know I had to get that Hurts jersey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get my Hurts jersey. Amari Cooper or Quez? Amari Cooper or Quez? I would start Amari Cooper at home. And then when the Dallas on the road, I would play Quez. Because Amari Cooper is buns on the road. You going to Philly versus San Fran? Yeah, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be at that one. Who guarding Devontae on the Falcons? I don't know. Somebody going to have to do it. Are we blitzing under Gannon this year? We have no choice. We have no choice. Who out there smoking pork butt? Who smoking? What? What? Atlanta week one uh, going to boost our confidence. It got to. 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 I, I, I foresee a lot of blitzing. 27 and 14. 27 and 14 who? Coop definitely stole that hundred. Yeah, yeah, that, that hundred mil definitely got stolen. That hundred mil got stolen. And Cowboys fans try to tell us we overpaid for Wentz. The media, nobody talked about what Amari Cooper got. Nobody talked about what Amari Cooper got. Nobody talked about how Coop stole that bag. How you become a channel member? It should be a link. Why are you being salty, LB? We just chattering. You get you get your lackeys to block me. Eagles fans are different. I didn't tell nobody to do nothing. I told them I could have. I can make them press the button. I can. They let you speak that foolishness all along. But when you came out your mouth and talk about some Adore Jackson over Slay, we know you ain't keeping it a hundred. We know you ain't keeping it a hundred. And we don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear We want to hear facts. Amari Cooper's still a beast. I'm not sleeping on, on Amari. But Amari, come on, man. He don't show up on the road, man. He don't show up on the road. This is when I knew Amari was a different level of soft. Amari is softer than the blouse in Bloomingdale's. If you go in Bloomingdale's, go in the women's section and run your fingers through the blouses. Very, very soft. A lot of lace. A lot of, lot, lot, lot of body kind. A lot, lot, lot of that type of fabric. Amari is softer than the blouse in Bloomingdale's. This when I knew it. When the Philadelphia Eagles had to play the Dallas Cowboys for the division, we had no wide receivers. All we had was Greg Ward. Amari Cooper did not show up in that game. He was non-existent non-existent in that game that game for the division when the eagles won five straight to win the division amari cooper was nowhere to be seen the game where miles sanders slid when he should have took it to the house to rub it in your face amari was nowhere to be seen who you draft for your running backs laura brunson i drafted some bad not bad i'm not pleased with my running backs i gotta play the waiver wire man i gotta play the waiver wire man i got kareem hunt and uh i can't even remember the other dude name man but my my wide receivers is my wide receivers stack. My wide receivers stack. What's good, hi? Huh? What's good, hi, huh, Don? What's good with you? You know what I'm saying? 504 people in the chat. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all subscribe. We on the road to 18,000 subs this afternoon. You don't want to miss the first official keys to victory of the season. It is going down, down, down. Please make sure you get your hurt season hats. Please, because the orders have picked up. These Hertz commercials have picked up. We've prophesied this time. We knew this was going to come. We knew this was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just happy it's happened. I'm, listen, man, listen. Y'all are official. Y'all are official. Lunchtime with the bullies is one of them is one of them days. It's one of them programs, man, where things get done right. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to y'all, man. Um, official video, man, coming this afternoon, like I said. Big manscape in the building. Use code Brunson. Do all of that, man. Save 20% off. Tap in with the BetQL as well. Use code Lord. Save 25% off, man. We only do things that make sense for the masses. Tap in. Keys to victory. Shout out to y'all.